Five years ago, when Google announced Chromebooks, laptops that couldn't do anything without an internet connection, it sounded like a joke. And what's the deal with these laptops that only browse the web? What are you gonna sell us next, Google? An oven that only roasts chicken? <laughs> but Chromebooks are no laughing matter anymore. While they might have started out as simple secondary computers, they've been slowly gaining features that bring them closer to, you know, real laptops. They even look like them too. Samsung's new $400 model has a roomy 13-inch HD screen and a really high-end looking design. And HP has one for $300 with a 14-inch screen and Intel's latest processors. But can any of these sub-$400 Chromebooks do the job of a Mac or Windows PC? After living with them for a week, I can safely say they're no longer a joke. But there's still some things I'd rather do on a real laptop. No, I'm not watching Netflix at work. But Chromebooks have been good at just that, watching Netflix, stalking people on Facebook. But how do they perform when it actually comes to doing work? Finding web app alternatives to Windows and Mac productivity programs is actually easier than you'd think. In addition to Google Docs, there's Microsoft Word Online, and many companies offer a web version of Outlook for your email and calendar. There's also a good desktop photo editor called Pixlr. Managing all those apps is better now, too, that you can put Windows side by side and launch apps from the toolbar. You can even view all your apps by swiping up on the trackpad. Those multitasking features are useful, though there's room for improvement, including some better file management tools. But there are still some big can'ts when it comes to working on a Chromebook. Even though there are web-based VPN tools for accessing your office network remotely, my company doesn't offer a compatible one. And even though I do like to live in the cloud, I still like to print on paper. You can't just plug in a printer. Google's Cloud Print only works with select printers, and setting it up is a hassle. I'm still waiting for my stuff to print. Most other peripherals played really nicely with a Chromebook. My external monitor, my external hard drive, and my wireless mouse just worked. It was easy to load photos up on the computer, though there's only 16 gigabytes of space on most of these, so you'll want to shift those files to the cloud. Good thing Chromebooks come with 100 gigabytes of free Google Drive space. But my biggest issue with these Chromebooks has been, what happens if there's no internet? Google's fixed a lot of that now, but it's not perfect. You can prepare Google Drive and Google Docs for offline use, but they don't always load when you lose that connection. That said, some other third-party apps like QuickNote worked really well offline. What do you call a laptop that only runs Google's Chrome OS? Actually, a decent Mac or PC alternative. Tough crowd tonight, tough crowd. Okay, sure, Chromebooks still can't do all the things a traditional laptop can. And I still prefer my MacBook Air for multitasking and file organization. But Chromebooks can now do far more than just surf the web. Yet they also maintain the original benefits like good battery life and a simple interface. If that sounds good to you, I'd go for this $279 Dell Chromebook 11. If you want something with a higher resolution screen, I'd go for the $400 Chromebook 2 from Samsung. Depending on what you're up to, you may never miss the real thing.